Okay. We are live, Sarah, if you want to oh, say hello. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh-uh, give me one second. <laughs> yeah, sure. So Sarah and her husband, Billy, are going to be doing the 26 and 2 yoga system here, 60-minute version. We hope you enjoy it. Have a blast. How's the sound of that music in the background, Billy? I guess you can't really tell. I can, uh, I can go check it out. Will you text me, Phil? Let me know. Yes. That's the YouTube one. That's the Facebook one. Yeah, go for it. Oh, okay, awesome. All right, awesome. Welcome, everybody. I hope that you found the space heater, that you were able to set up a in home studio for your practice today. We're going to do a 60 minute variation. We're not going to stay in the setups really long. That way we can hold the posture and create some internal warmth. Billy, this is my very attractive assistant, Billy, who will be practicing with me today. If this is your first time practicing, just follow along the best that you can. We're so happy to have you guys joining us today. Let's start with our breathing exercise on a deep breathing. So stand up on your mat, bring your big toes together to touch. Shift your weight back into your heels. Interlace your fingers underneath your chin. Drop your shoulders down. Pull your stomach in. Straighten your legs. Begin. Inhale through the nose. Stretch your elbows up. Exhale out of the mouth. H A ha sound. Tip your chin up. Lift your elbows up. Pull your stomach in. Empty your lungs. Inhale. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, make it strong. Inhale. Shift the weight back in your heels, pull your stomach in, feel the lift up out of your waist. Exhale. Keep going, inhale through the nose. Good, weight back in the heels, contract thighs, pull your stomach in. Again, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, squeeze your butt, pull your low belly in, pick your chest up. Empty out your lungs, bring elbows together. Inhale. Strong exhale. Again, even bigger, even fuller. Feel bottom back ribs expand with fullness. Exhale. In. Strong exhale. Again, so good for the lungs. Deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Strong exhale. Few more. Inhale. Two more. Last one. So 
just remember your practice isn't going to be as deep without the heat. Really work to find the accountability to stay in the posture. That can be tough to do when you're practicing by yourself. Ardha Chandrasana with Padasasana, half moon, hands to feet. Inhale, arms up overhead. Interlace fingers, release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs, tight grip with your hands. Pull your arms back with your ears, suck your stomach in. Take a nice warm up, lift and bend right and left with your chest. Stop in the center, keep the weight in your heels, contract your quads, pull your belly in. Tighten up your grip, work to get rid of the gap in between the center of your palms. Inhale, lift up, come down to the right. Keep weight back in your heels. Straighten the legs, straighten the arms, pull your low belly in. Make small adjustments to stack your shoulders. Bring your bottom shoulder slightly forward, bring your left hip slightly forward. Pull your belly in and reach. Reach hands over to the right. Press hips over to the left. Breathe. In and out through the nose, steady. Pick your chin up. Pull your hips back, bring your weight back. Recontract your quads and squeeze your butt. Low belly in. Slide your arms back. Repress your palms together. Reach a little bit closer towards the right side. Push ups. Drop down. Final few seconds. Change, come back to center, re-lift, stretch up, drop down to the right. Excuse me, the left, push-ups to the right. Arms back, chin up, arms and legs straight for the stretch down the right side of the body. Chin up, throat open, breath smooth. Small adjustments, tip on your shoulder forward, bring your hip forward, weight your heels. Close the gap between the hands, press center of the palms, index fingers, cross thumbs. Pull your belly in, squeeze your butt, push your hips right, drop down and hold. Breathe into right side rib cage, feel expansion with your inhale. Change, back to center, backward bend. Drop your head back and just let it settle for a moment. Soften the back corners of the mouth. Squeeze your palms, straighten your arms, pinch your elbows together. Slide your shoulders down your back. Inhale, press your sternum up. Backward bend your spine. Work your arms back, reach the crown of your head back. Press center of the chest up. Pull shoulders down. Keep the weight back in the heels. Push down with the heel bones. Lift up with your chest. Stay with your breath. Hold for five. Shoulders down, four, reach back, three, two, one. Keep your arms with your ears, pull your belly in, you can bend your knees as needed, fold at your waist. You sweating? Yeah. I know, me too. Um, our fire and our space heater is working. Pull your belly in, cut off through your knees. You can roll your head around a few times. Right, left, left, right. Let me throw another ball on here real quick.
Hanasasana, hands to feet. Bend your knees a lot, wrap your arms around your calf muscles, grab your heels. Dip your weight forward in your toes. Keep your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face to shins. Lift your hips, lift your tailbone up. Bring the weight forward out of your toes. Scoop your belly and draw your rib cage down. Hike your shoulders up, bend your elbows back. The weight forward again. Push tips of fingers into heels. Stretch your hips up, drop your head down. Change. Arms with your hips, weight forward in your toes, lift. Arms down by your side. Second set, arms up. Squeeze your palms, pull your arms back, suck stomach in, inhale, reach. Come down to the right, hips to the left. Keep your weight in your heels, pull your belly in. Chin up, arms back, tight grip, strong. Press pads of fingers in between knuckles. And a little bit more, squeeze hands, drop down one more time. Change, big inhale, reach, come down to the left. Pull your arms back, keep your hands strong, squeeze the inside of the wrists closer together. Slide your biceps back, work your arms with your ears, chin up. Belly in, weight in your ears. Move your hips to bring your arms down one more time. Change. Second back or bend, drop your hips back. Keep your tight grip, contract your quads, squeeze your butt, inhale, reach up. Arms back and breathe. Weight in the heels. Reverse out, take your time. Pull belly in, hold at your waist. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Keep your low belly in. Grab your heels. Way forward in your toes. Reach your hips up, reach your head down. Get rid of the gaps between the stomach and thighs. Press your chest into your kneecap. Reach your chin down below your knees and touch your forehead to your chest. Change. Palms together, arms with the ears. Lift up. Arms down by your side. Awkward, open your feet, hip with distance. Make sure your feet are parallel, your heels are behind your toes. Lift your arms up, drop your shoulders down, pull your stomach in. Inhale. Bend knees and sit all the way down. Bring your weight into your heels, slide your shins back, reach your butt back. Pull your stomach in, pick your chest up, drop your shoulders down. Hold and breathe. Make sure toes and knees, hands point forward. Keep them at a hip width distance. Drop your hips. Backward bend your spine, chest up, head up. Drop shoulders. Recontract your triceps. Keep your arms straight, flat in the center of your palms. Change right into second part, heels up. Belly in. Drop your hips down. 
Pull your low belly in, put your tailbone down. Press the front of your ankles forward. Pick your heels up. Over time, heels will stack over knees. Drop shoulders, recontract your triceps. Change, lift. Squeeze knees, belly in, lower down. Press the inside of your knees, inner thighs together. Pull your low belly in. Drop your shoulders. Find length in your spine. Reach up through the crown of your head. Flatten palms, recontract your triceps. Use your breath. Inhale, press your knees even tighter. Slowly reverse out. Feet together, arms down. Hands at, open feet, arms up, inhale, drop your hips. All the way down to where you left off. Outer curve of hips, behind knees. Reach your tailbone back, kick your rib cage up, drop your shoulders down. Weight in your heels, shift it back. Change, come up, second part, lift your heels. Pull your belly in, bend your knees, sit. Upper body back, bring your shoulders back to stack over your hips. Pull your belly in, trap triceps, change. Third part, lift a little bit, squeeze knees. Big inhale, as slow as you can, lower down. Find more pressure in between your knees. Keep your core in strong. Straighten your arms. I know some of you guys are bending your elbows. Straighten arms, contract triceps, press knees together. Inhale, change. Step feet, arms down, eagle, arms up. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. You can grab your opposite shoulders or cross wrists. Thumbs towards the base. Pull shoulders down, suck to the in, bend knees, sit down. Sit down as low as you can. Keep your heels in contact with the floor. Belly in, pick your right leg up. Half bind or work right foot behind left calf muscle. Work to bring everything in a vertical line down the center. Notice your breath. Keep it steady, keep it calm, in and out through the nose. Crown the head up, drop shoulders down, squeeze your upper inner thighs, sit down. Left side, arms up. Left arm under right. Set your hands, pull your shoulders down, keep your belly in, drop your hips. Sit low. Lift your left leg up and over. Half bind, hold here, or wrap. And although you may not have your usual depth like you do in your regular practice, holding in stillness will help to maintain the strength and keep you open and flexible. So find a place that you can hold without a lot of fidgeting, readjusting, and breathe in that space. Shoulders down, squeeze. Upper inner thighs, squeeze your upper inner thighs and drop your hips. Second set, arms up. We do arms and legs at the same time. Right arm, right leg, cross. And sit. Shift your weight back into your heel, reach your butt back. Sit down a little bit lower, belly and chest up. With your chest up, Pull your shoulders down. Left side, unwind. Left arm, left leg, same time.
shift your weight back, squeeze everything, inner thighs, outer knees, pull shoulders down, sit low. Release. Moving into the balancing series, if you're working without a mirror, find one point of focus to help maintain your balance. Standing head to knee. Bring your weight into your left foot. Lift your right leg up 90 degrees. Pull your right toes up. Pull your belly in. Inhale, lift. Round right down. You may be here and that's okay. That's your holding, that's your stopping point. Stay with that. If you have the grip, all 10 fingers included underneath the ball of the right foot. Contract your left leg, squeeze your left glute muscles. If your standing leg remains solid, take your right foot out. Pull your low belly in, flex right toes toward the face. Press the inside of the left foot down, the ball of the left foot, push it down so the weight doesn't dump into the other side of the side of the legs. Both legs straight, contract both thighs, pull your belly in again, round forward, drop your elbows down. Reverse now, arm straighten, bend leg, release foot. Shift your weight into your right foot, lift your left leg up. Find that 90 degree bend in the left leg. Keep that heel stacked underneath, knee in line with it. Know that holding here helps to build such a strong foundation. Full belly in, pick your ribs up, round your spine. Interlace fingers with the ball of the left foot. Straight right leg, contract the front of your right thigh, squeeze your right butt. If your standing leg is solid, kick out. If the right leg is bent, stay in the first part, build the foundation. Flex left toes, and both legs straight, drop elbows. Press the inside of the right foot down, Reach elbows towards the floor. Okay. Weight into the left foot, lift your right leg up. Pull belly in, inhale lift. Round down. Standing leg solid, kick. Both legs straight, keep your belly in, drop elbows. Elbows below calf, tuck chin, round, touch your head to you. Shift your weight into your right foot. Lift your left leg up. Belly in, inhale, lift and round. Standing leg solid, lift your left heel. Both legs straight, belly and bend elbows down. Tuck your chin around down, touch forehead to knee, elbows go below the calf muscle. Stay with it, still balance on one standing leg wherever you took the posture to. Change. Standing bow, lift your left arm up. Bring your right elbow to your right hip, put your thumb to the back wall. Without turning or rotating the hand. Wow. You should probably take that shirt off. <laughs> yeah, that's one sweet. <laughs> Reach down. Grab your right ankle from the inside. Make sure you don't turn or rotate the hand. So the soft part of the elbow is going to point out. It shouldn't feel like a twist on the right shoulder. Slide your left arm back. Contract your left thigh. Inhale, lift. Swipe inner thighs. Kick back. Reach your left hand forward. Contract your left thigh. 
Straighten your left arm. Find power in the reach, power in the kick. It's a balance in between those two points. Let your right shoulder stretch back. Right knee straight back. So if you see the right foot veering over towards the left, push the foot away. Body down, kick. Change. Right arm up, left elbow out. Reach down, grab your left ankle from the inside. Straight right leg, pull right arm back, inhale, lift, slight kick, body down. Left knee straight back, reach right hand, right shoulder forward. Contract right back. Push ball of right foot down. Point left toes, kick back, kick up. Stay with it. If you go out, put back in. Take your time. Reverse out. Release down. Take a breath. What's the space you can say? 83. 83. I think it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> you did make a bonfire. <laughs> Left arm up, right elbow out. Reach time, you your right ankle. Point your right toes, inhale lift. Contract, left thigh, reach. Kick and reach. Don't let one part of the posture dominate. Find balance and energy. Through the left fingers, reach up with the right toes, drop body down. Last time, bring them up, left elbow out, reach down, grab your ankle. If the knees to break, bring them back. Touch the inner thighs, slide right arm back, inhale lift. Equal effort in the kick and the stretch. Bring your body down, kick, stretch and breathe. Take a step back, mat, balancing stick. Inhale, arms up. And release fingers, release index finger, tight grip, press palms, arms back, step right foot forward, lift left toes. Inhale, reach, drop the chest, lift the left leg forward rather than down. 10 seconds, stretch the hands to the front, reach your toes to the back, pull your belly in, and hold. Change. Keep your grip tight, step left foot forward, lift right toes. Inhale, reach, drop your body. Chest down, leg up, look forward rather than down. Pick your arms up, back with your ears, tighten your grip, reach to the front, lift toes to the back, and hold. Change. Feet together. Arms down. Second one, arms up. The right foot forward, lift left toes. Inhale, reach, chest down like that. Rest your palms together, drop the outer edge of the left hip down. Belly and arms up, stretch. Change. Last one, left foot forward. Inhale, reach. Chest down, leg up. Outer edge, right hip down, belly in. 
Pick up your right heel, pick up your hands, reach hands and toes apart. Change. Turn sideways on your mat. Standing separate legs, stretching. Inhale, arms up. Step right foot out, arms down. Line up your heels, slightly turn in your toes. Pull your belly in, pick your chest up. Pull it forward. Keep your weight in your toes. Belly in. Grab towards the heels. If you're not at the heels, grab the sides of the feet. All fingers included underneath the bottom of your feet. Know that you can bend your knees as much as you need to to gain access to your grip. Tip your weight forward in your toes. Pull your belly in. Pull and lengthen. Find them. Legs are straight, contract your thighs. No matter where you are, so much stomach in. Push your chest out. Take your shoulders up. And reach your hairline down. Go weight more forward in your toes. Scoop your belly in, draw chest down, reach hairline. Release your grip, arms out, chest forward, lift up, leave your toes. Feet together, arms down. So the second one, Billy, we're gonna go right into triangle, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so break it out. Turn your toes in, kick your heels out, pick your chest up, belly and fold forward, hinge at your waistline. Grab sides of the feet, grab the heels. Shoulders up, away from the ears. Cool. Pull your stomach in so much, you feel your belly pull away from the waistband of your yoga bottoms. Reach your tailbone up, reach the back of the neck down. Arms out, belly in, release, lift up. Widen your step, if needed, turn the right toes to the front, bend your right knees again. Thumbs up, look to the back, move both arms at the same time. Bring your right elbow to the inside of your right knee. Reach your left arm up, squeeze your butt, pull your stomach in. Press the outer edge of the back foot down. Back leg straight and strong, contract your left quad. Drop your hips. Stay with it. Keep your belly in, lift up. First arms, straighten leg, turn your right toes in, hips forward, chest up, turn your left toes back, bend your left. Thumbs up, look back, move both arms. Press the back edge of the right foot down. Straighten right leg, left elbow to the inside of the left knee. Push the elbow into knee. Reach your left hand down, reach your right arm up. Keep stomach in, drop your hips. Squeeze your butt. Hold. So we're going to go right into standing separate leg, forehead to knee, lift up, straight leg, bring arms up over your head, cross thumbs, turn towards the front. Line up your heels, turn your left toes in, bring your left hip forward, inhale, lift, tuck chin, round down. Bound, you can come grab on you. 
Bring your forehead to your right knee, bend your knee as needed. Straighten your right leg, keep still again, lift. Pick up your chin, get into the back. Turn your right toes in, bring your right hip in line with your left hip, squeeze upper inner thighs. Inhale, lift, chin down, stomach in, round forward. Connect your forehead to your left knee, bend your knee as we go. Straighten your left leg first. Continue to keep belly in strong. Round up. Use your strong core to lift. Pick up your chin. Pivot. Feet together. Arms down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Second set. Triangle into standing supper leg. Like forehead to knee. Inhale. Arms up. So if you're right foot out, big step. Really big step on this one. Pick your chest up, turn your right toes to the front, bend right knee, sit down. Thumbs up, lift back, move both arms. Here. Squeeze your butt, suck in your stomach. Reach, left shoulder blade up. Reach, right shoulder blade down. Squeeze underneath your butt as you pull your belly up. Look up towards the ceiling past your left leg. Left side, first arms, then straighten the leg. Feet parallel, pick up the chest, turn the left toes to the back of the knee. Belly and thumbs up, look front, move both arms. Bring all five fingers together on the right hand. Pull the belly in. Press the back edge of the right foot down. Pull up on the inner arch of the right foot and contract the right leg. Squeeze the bottom of your butt. Low belly in, sit down. First arms. Straighten leg, feet parallel, arms up, turn, face the front. You may need to shorten your step. Two heels lined up, bring left hip forward, lift, tuck your chin and around your spine. You should already feel the stretch as you're entering the posture in the upper spine. Keep your chin to your chest, connect your forehead to your knee. Pull your navel into your spine. Inner spiral the thighs, squeeze upper inner thighs. Straight right leg, low belly and left. Left side. Right hip in line with left hip, inhale lift. Chin to chest the whole time, keep the chin chest connection. Low belly and connect forehead to knee. Keep chin to chest, straight left leg, strong stomach, round up. Pivot, step feet, drop arms, turn. Tree pose. Use both hands, pick up your right foot as high as you can. Connect it to your left hip. Be gentle and kind to your knees. Right knee down. Right hand to the center of your chest. If your right foot stays in place, join the left hand with right. 
Tata Dasana. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> Maybe you should just say the Sanskrit <laughs> names of the monsters. <laughs> well, if you'd like to move forward in the toe, belly in, hinge of the hips. Only on hands and heart center. Begin to fold. Keep your belly in, bend your left leg, bring your knees in between your arms. Balance. Here on your fingertips, find your one point of focus. Bring your hands to your heart center. Press your palms together. Lift up away from your left heel. Good job, <laughs> We can pull up the mat. Left side. Pick up your left foot. Lifting down, left hand to center. Pull up your stillness. Right hand joins. So stand, move forward. Belly in. Turn around, lay down on your back for quick savasana. Good, Billy, and let's stoke the fire. Like that? No. <laughs> I mean, they might. <laughs> How much time are we in? 40 minutes. 40? Good. It's good timing. When we're moving right side. Point your left toes up, flex your left toes to your face. Pick up your right leg, keep your right ankle relaxed. Interlace your fingers below your knee, pull your knee out and down into your right shoulder. Look towards your chest. Roll your left shoulder down onto the mat. Press the center of the palms onto your right chin. Pull your right knee closer to right shoulder. Other side, release right leg. Flex right toes, soften the left ankle. Fingers in release. Pull your left knee out and down. Look to your chest. Right shoulder down. Flex right toes toward your face. Push hands into left shin, pull left knee down. Release left leg, pick up both legs together, bend the knees. Grab your arms around your legs, grab your elbows. Flatten your spine down to the mats. Keep the back of your head on the floor. Bring your chin closer to your chest. Flatten the nape of the neck down. Drop shoulders down. Squeeze your thighs in. Release both legs. Toes together. Flex toes towards your face. Arms up. Hook your thumbs. Pull your belly in. Squeeze your back. Keep your arms with your ears. Inhale. Sit up. Flex toes. Double exhale. Roll over onto your stomach. Hi. <laughs> Recover. So we're going to flow through these. We'll do first set of each one, take a savasana, and then do second set of each one. 
Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, flat in the center of your palms, chin forward, squeeze your legs together, squeeze your butt, cobra, inhale, pick up your chin, your chest, your ribs. Pull your shoulders down, lift your chin up, look up. Lift the crown of your head up, swing your elbows in. Lower down, touch your chin, pick up your hips, bring your arms underneath of you, palms down. Bring your hands together. Try to touch pinky fingernails together, spread your fingers wide. Soften your left leg, point your right toes, chin forward, and lift your right leg up without bending your knee. Right leg a little straighter. Release right leg down. Soften right leg, point left toes, lift left leg up. Reach your left toe back, contract your left thigh, pick up your left heel, chin forward, palms down. Release left leg down, turn up down. Walk your hands closer to your knees. Squeeze your legs together. Inhale, shift your body weight forward. Lift both legs up. Legs straight and strong. Nose down, mouth down. Press your fingertips down. Lower legs. Release hands, bring arms out wide in a V shape. All five fingers together, chin forward. Squeeze your legs. Inhale, lift everything up. Keep the V shape of your arms. Notice that they drop back in a T shape. Bring hands forward. Pick hands up. Squeeze legs. Lift thighs up. Head up. Lower down. Bend your knees. Grab the outside edge of your feet. Bring your pinky fingers just underneath your pinky toes. Squeeze your butt. Inhale. Kick. Feet knees. Hip width distance apart. Roll forward. Push the soft part of your belly down. Squeeze the bottom of your butt. Reach your toes up. Lower down. Bring your left ear to the floor. Look right and breathe. Second set of four. Posture. <laughs> Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, flat and center of the palms. Chin forward. Squeeze your legs. Press tops of the toes down. Chin forward. Inhale. Lift up. Curl back. Press your breastbone forward. Reach your jaw up. Slide shoulder blades down your back. <laughs> Lower chin. Lift your hips. Bring your arms underneath the palms down. Touch pinky fingers. Soften your left leg. Point your right toes with the right leg. So back to that accountability. I know a lot of you guys are just watching me do this one now. <laughs> Stay with it. Release right leg down, left leg up. Chin forward, hands down, point toes. Pick your heel up. Left leg down, mouth down. And up. Shift it forward, lift both legs up. Press the tips of your fingers down, reach hands back, mouth down. Lower down, release arms, hands up. All my fingers together. Squeeze your legs, inhale, lift. It's kind of like being in the studio right now. <laughs> Thumbs forward, head up, squeeze the front of your thighs, lift. 
Lower down, last one, you bought this, bend knees. Grab just below pinky toes, all five fingers together. Squeeze your butt, inhale, lift your toes, lift your knees. Keep the center of gravity on the soft part of the belly. So if you feel way back here, roll forward. Bring your knees back in line with your hips. Open your pinky toes. Reach toes up. Soften shoulders. Lower down. Right ear to the floor. Look up. Chin forward, tuck toes, hands to the knees, shoulders, press up, one piece, high plank. Hold. Belly in, reach crown of the head forward. Reach heels back, contract quads. Back of the neck long. Almost there, 20 more seconds. Keep your gaze just beyond the tips of your fingers. Rather than let the chin drop to the chest, look straight down, lengthen back of the neck, press palms down, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Step your knees forward, fix Bring your knees together, open your heels wider than your hips, and roll your calf muscles out of the way. Again, always gentle on the knees, never forcing. If your hips touch, knees feel okay, start to bend one elbow back at a time. Top of the head, back of the head, Hands on the soles of the feet, sit your back, press up, lift your hips up, step back into your high plank, slide your knees to the back of the mat, sit down for half twist. Knees together, feet together, inhale, arms up over your head, touch palms. Cross your thumbs, just your thumbs, and press the center of the hands together, arms back, full belly and inhale, reach up. Fold forward at the waist. Look forward, keep chin out of chest. Touch your forehead, touch your pinky fingers. Bring your chin away from your chest. Touch your forehead, your third eye area, just in between the eyebrows on the mat. If you feel like your forehead is hovering, simple solution, pick up your hips further away from your heels. Stretch your hands forward, reach your hips back, squeeze your legs together, inhale. Arms down, stand up on your knees, camel pose or shasana. Open your knees and feet to foot distance. Bring your hands to your low back. Put your fingertips down, squeeze your elbows together, press the top of your feet down. Inhale, lift up out of your waist, pick up your chin, look across the ceiling. Pull here with hands on hips. And you can see about halfway down to the floor, you can reach one hand for one nail at a time. Fingers on the inside, thumb on the outside. Press toes down. Hands to the back. Squeeze your butt, lift up. Turn around, savasana. Mm 
Second tap, flex toes, arms up, cross thumbs, squeeze your butt, inhale, sit up, round forward, touch toes, double up. Fix for. Knees together. Open heels wider than your hips. A common mistake in this one or misalignment when you go to sit down, the heels aren't far enough apart, so you end up sitting down on your heels. Open your heels wider than your hips. Work your knees together. That's your ability. So, Billy, why don't you bring your hands on the soles of your feet, just like this? Yeah. Is your butt touching? Can't really see from here. Almost, then that's where you're gonna hold for now. You can pick the chest up. That's a good holding place. Breathe. Puppy coach. <laughs> Half tortoise. Slide back. Knees together, squeeze ankles together, inhale, arms up. Press palms, lift, belly in, fold. Bring your chin away from your chest. Press your palms back together, tighten up your grip, squeeze the inside of your wrists together. Work to only touch the pinky edge side of the hand. Continue to slide hands forward, good job, Billy, and reach your hips back. Squeeze your knees, reverse now. Arms down, lift up, camel. Open the knees and feet, bring your hands to your low back. Inhale, chest up. Reach your jaw back, reach the crown of your head back. Squeeze your butt and hips forward. Press the center of your chest up. Change. We'll go right into rabbit from here. Bring your knees together, sit down. Grab your heels from behind. Do you wanna do your rabbit uh, facing sideways? You want to show people how not to go? No, you have a great rabbit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Grab your heels. Squeeze your knees. Pull belly in. Inhale, lift. Chin to chest. Pull chest in. Stomach in. Round. Slide your forehead to your knees. Pick your hips up. Tighten up your grip. Squeeze your heels together. Lift your shoulders up, away from your ears. Press your knees down. Pull your stomach in so much, low belly in. That's going to allow you to access the stretch in the lumbar spine. So you feel not only the upper spine stretching, but top to bottom stretching. Roll forward. Press your toes down. Press your knees down. Change. Pull on your heels to commence. Turn around. Take a savasana. Second one, flex toes, arms up, cross thumbs, inhale, sit up, touch toes, double exhale. 57 minutes. That's good. I said 60-ish minutes. I didn't promise that it would be <laughs> under 60. Grab your heels, inhale, lift, tuck in, round down. Shoulders up. Pull your belly button in. Pull on your heels. Keep your chin tucked to the last. Lift up. Come out, Billy. Final stretching. 
Right leg out. Excuse me, bum buns. Pop your toes. Flex your right toes in. Arms up. Quarter turn, tuck chin, round down. Round below your toes with the ball of the foot. Connect your forehead to your knee. So you have the grip below the toes and the connection of the forehead and knee. Bend the knee as much as you need to to make those two things happen. Level out your shoulders. Drop your left shoulder down. Belly and arms up. Switch it out. Left leg out. Right foot in. Lift. Turn. Pull chin to chest and round. All fingers included underneath the bottom of the foot. Connect your forehead to your knee. Drop your right shoulder down. Reach elbows down. <laughs> okay, that one. Flex your toes in. Let's add a sit up in, both legs out, lie back. Arms back, hands touch, inhale, sit up, touch toes, double exhale. <sighs> Rub your big toes with your pizza and fingers, walk your hips back a few times. Again, you can bend your knees as much as you need to here. Really work on lengthening the spine. So drop shoulders, pick up your chest, pick up your ribs, and fold forward. Elbows up and out. Pull toes in, squeeze the inside of your ankle bones together. Work your pinky toes towards your face. Reverse now, we'll go right into spine twist. Bend your left leg, cross your right heel over your left knee. Bring your right hand to the bottom of your spine. I'll turn the side for this one. If this is uncomfortable on the left leg, you can straighten the left leg out. Lift left arm up, cross it over, grab the edge of your mat, or work to grab your knee. So here, knee, ankle, and hand are in one spot. Wrap your right arm, palm out around your low back. Turn your chin over your right shoulder. Chest out, chest up. Reach right hand for inner left thigh. Twist Other side. And twist. Right leg down. Put your left heel over, left hand at the bottom of the spine. Reach right arm up. Grab for knee. If you don't have the knee, grab the edge of your mat. Left hand, palm out. Wrap it around your little back. Reach for inner. Chest up. Look back, twist. And twist. Let's close it out together with one round of final breathing. Kneeling or seated position with ankles crossed. Hands on thighs. Sit up nice and straight. So this is a diaphragmatic breathing technique that we close class out with. And if you're hunching or concaving, it's hard to access the diaphragm. So arms straight, chest up, sit tall. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you can turn around for a couple more minutes, lie down on your mat, and enjoy the practice that you just had. Thank you so much for joining Billy and I. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. You guys need anything? If you have any questions or any comments, anything you want me to do in classes, you want me to teach, let me know. I would be more than happy to do so. Thank you guys. Namaste. Very nice. Ew. Ew. <laughs> How do I turn this off, baby?
It says end stream. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Molly Magui. Oh, really? 